The coins alert is where everything in this video comes from. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my station to get more XRP news and news about cryptocurrencies in general. Next, read these new words from the CEO of Ripple about the next 12 to 18 months. Before we go any further, there is a new crypto airdrop going on on Telegram right now. It will soon be over. Make sure that you take part in this airdrop. Just below the movie, there is a link. Do not miss this now. Let's watch our video some more. Not long ago, writer Eleanor Tarrant interviewed Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse. In it, he talked about some of the most important issues related to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and its ongoing legal fights with the cryptocurrency industry. The main things that were talked about at the conference were the Secasis Cross Appeal about what an investment contract is under the Securities Act and how that definition affects the business. This question was asked to Garlinghouse by an investor named Anthony Pompliano. Would the fact that cryptocurrencies are sometimes thought of as investment contracts change the way that Coinbase and other sites allow investment contracts to work? Garlinghouse was answering Pompliano's question. On the other hand, the sector would be in terrible shape if the SEC won at this point. According to Garlinghouse, there could be negative effects on regulations that would make people less likely to try new crypto ideas at U.S. ports. He said it would just send more of it overseas. At the same time, Pompeo put pressure on Garlinghouse to say something good about C Chairman Gary Gensler or the agency's part in the Bitcoin world. The thing that Garlinghouse said was really interesting. There'll be a new head of the SEC, C. Relatedly, Coinbase has chosen to take down an alternative cryptocurrency from its list. After that, Pompliona talked about how the Securities and Exchange Commission CC approved the Coinbase initial public offering and the Bitcoin exchange traded funds ETFs. He compared this to how the SEC usually treats the Bitcoin business badly. A lot of noise was made when they accepted the exchange traded fund. Garlinghouse, who wasn't afraid to say bad things, said they had to be dragged through the chamber. They are lying when they say that they approved the Bitcoin exchange traded fund. They had no choice but to do this. Even though governmental authorities are making things difficult, Garlinghouse is optimistic about Ripple's growth over the next 12 to 18 months. He said that interest from institutions has grown since Ripple's last swell event where some of the world's best institutions met to talk about the project. This is what Garlinghouse said, and it's not just about Ripple's payment flows. Our company is now in the security business, and we're also starting to make moves into the stablecoin market. Being upbeat is a good thing to do for many reasons. The SEC filed an appeal which could last for at least another year. This means that the court battles over our P-coin are still a long way from over. At a recent event about cryptocurrencies, Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, talked about what he thought about the present situation. This is because XRP can keep its price above 50 cents, with Bitcoin dropping to $67,000, many other. Cryptocurrencies are also going down. The overall direction of the market is going down right now. What are the exact effects of the case that RIP filed? As soon as possible, Garlinghouse brought up the important question of whether or not Bitcoin contracts need to include clear promises in order to be considered securities. His talk made me realize that the SEC's stance could have big effects on the whole cryptocurrency ecosystem. Can cryptocurrency coins be thought of as securities? When asked about whether cryptocurrency tokens should be considered investment contracts, Garlinghouse gave a warning. He said that this kind of classification could mean that a US-based platforms like Coinbase would have to shut down. He said that this decision would be very bad for the business and that companies might have to move to other countries because of it. There are worries about the ongoing investigation into Tether, which is one reason why the Bitcoin market is so unstable right now. There is a chance that the price of XRP will drop to 48 cents if people keep trying to sell it. If XRP can find support at $0.55 and $0.58, it might be able to get back to 64 cents. Two things that could be bad for cryptocurrency are the upcoming US elections and the news about Tether. Based on how things have historically gone, there is a good chance that Bitcoin will have hit new all-time highs soon. Since the law is always changing, people in the XRP community are always on the lookout for new information that could have a big effect on how the market works. Because of how unpredictable things are getting with XRP and the cryptocurrency business as a whole, the next few months will be very important. The CC's appeal has added at least one year to the time it takes to go to court over XRP coin. Since Ripple just filed for cross-appeal a few hours ago, it has big effects on other cryptocurrencies. At today's program, Garlinghouse talked about the need for more information about whether the Securities Act needs a clear promise and a security contract. He was asked by Pompliano if he thought crypto tokens could be thought of as promises for investments. This would mean that the Coinbase Exchange and other cryptocurrency companies in the U.S. would have to close. 
The CC says that only a few cryptocurrencies are not indeed stocks. The CEO of Ripple says this would be terrible for the business. If the SEC is right, it will be terrible for the business. World. There would be more business going abroad because of it. What we think will happen with XRP coins right now. Cryptocurrencies have dropped sharply since news spread that Tether is being looked into. Even though the Wall Street Journal wrote about the biggest investigation into stable coins, the CEO of the company said they haven't seen any signs of this. Because of this, instability is likely to rise in the coming hours. In the ongoing appeal part of the lawsuit, the CC has asked for more time to submit its main brief. This is the latest development in the ongoing battle between Ripple and the SEC. According to James K. Phelan, the SEC has asked for an extra 15 days to send in its appeal brief. After a string of missed dates and procedural holdups that have made the case take longer, this request was made. The CC wants January 15, 2025, to be the last day to file its main brief. Phelan sent a sexist letter to the court with this request and shared it on Twitter with the XR community. Due to the most recent events, the appeals process may last well into next year. Everyone in the coin world is looking forward to seeing how it all plays out. In the latest move in its legal fight with the Securities and Exchange Commission, Ripple has questioned some parts of a major decision. It was filed with the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit as a civil appeal pre-argument statement. One week after the SEC sent in its Form C with documents which contested some parts of a 2023 court decision that partially backed Ripple when it sold XRP investors, the action was taken. Responds the latest events in the lawsuit have made people in the XRP community share their thoughts. Bill Morgan, an XRP fan and lawyer, says that the SEC's present. Actions may show that they are just trying to delay things or that they are not confident in their chances. The information given is not meant to be taken as trade advice. Any purchases made based on the information on this page are in this page are not the responsibility of the people who made them. Before making any investment decisions, you should definitely do your own study and talk to a professional who knows what they're talking about.